Good morning, folks. We've got several cool things to hit today. A planet turned into a comet, a strange sight on a rogue brown dwarf, the Sun-Ocean connection, and Uranus. But we also had a bit more activity on the Sun, and that is where we will begin. Still don't have significant solar flares, but the eruptive activity is on the rise. Thus far, it has been confined to the limbs, ejecting left and right, and avoiding Earth-directed components, but clearly an uptick of plasma releasing and coronal jet outbreak behavior. It will be key to monitor today to see if it continues and begins to include Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. There are several other filaments and sunspot groups to keep watching right now as we watch those eruptive sequences in 304 angstroms here, two sizable filaments incoming. Let's peek in on those sunspots. First, the departing groups on the north. Most went into decay early in the week, but you'll see here the trailing group got some juice overnight and began to expand and multiply its umbral cores. We'll be watching that one as it heads for the limb, and on the south end coming, we will be continuing to monitor the bigger leading group. The biggest sunspot behind it is all alone, but between them and to the south, we have a new group just born on the solar surface. Lots to keep watching as we head into the second half of the week. The severe weather we forecast yesterday came indeed. Let's get some prayers for those impacted as the cold continues blasting parts of the country and there is another system coming in right behind it. The first article today is about the comet planet. They already believed that WASP 69b had a comet-like tail due to the interaction between its atmosphere and the stellar winds. Now they have discovered it not only exists but is way bigger than they imagined link to that article and video is found in your list today along with this folks they know that rogue planets and rogue brown dwarfs may outnumber actual stars and planetary systems in our galaxy but they are expected to mostly be dead and cold however they just found one that is breaking the mold it's got auroral signatures at its polar region which shouldn't be able to happen however one of their guesses that it's interacting with interstellar galactic plasma is almost certainly correct, especially if it's inside the galactic current sheet. Good paper up next on the solar impact to the oceans. Been a while since we had that flurry of similar papers about a decade ago, but it's critical to recall that the oceans are actually what controls the atmospheric temperature, and their discovery of a key solar cycle forcing of those ocean temperatures here reminds us of the suggested correlations from years ago. Lastly, folks, a rather advanced article on Uranus here discussing key characteristics of the planet. When we combine these with what we already know, the fact that it's tipped on its side and has a wildly whipping magnetic field, Uranus remains one of the strangest and hardest to explain spheres in our solar system. Links to all of these articles today are in your list in the description box below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.